Would you trust someone to go and get vaccinated and keep you safe? I literally don't care. You wouldn't care if the person you was dating is vaccinated? Nope. I just, I don't find it weird Wait, that people sorry. put their things on the dating. What was that, that shoulder's wrong? Because <laughs> if you're going to have hanky-panky with someone, I want to know whether they've How taken care of themselves. How do we do life when you need permission to prove a certain medical status to, to just but go Esther, about your business? We can't do life if we have long right. Right. Exactly. How, how long are we going to be living with this, for goodness sake? I'm Julia Danuga, and this is Off The Table, where we supercharge the debate about the issues affecting our lives that matter to everyone, but seem to be dividing us like never before. So we have brought together a group of smart, passionate individuals from a range of backgrounds to have no-nonsense discussions. And today, we are asking if jabs are bringing us together or driving us apart, as we take living with COVID off the table with our panel of polarized views. Okay guys, so today we are going to talk about living with COVID. I'm joined by the wonderful Benjamin Butterworth, who is a journalist. I have Dr. Emeka Okorocha in the building, and I also have Esther Kreku, who is a political commentator. How are you guys? Very good. Yeah, thank good. you so much for having me. I'm going to start off with a very, very controversial question. I feel like there's going to be some opposing opinions. I'm going to go for you, Benjamin. Okay. Do you think not having the jab is selfish? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I think it's just about the most selfish thing you could do at the moment. You know, we've been through 18 months of hell. People have died, people have got sick, they've not been able to do their jobs, businesses have gone under because of all the lockdowns. And now, through the genius of humanity, we've come up with a vaccine in an amazingly short space of time that can fix this, can protect the vast majority of people's lives. And so the idea that someone just turns around and goes, no, can't be bothered, don't want that, I mean, it is so selfish. Particularly, I think, young people who probably don't buy into a conspiracy theory, don't have some big political objection, but some of them just think, oh, I'll be fine, I don't care. I mean, that is incredibly selfish, and I have a problem with those people. You know what, so um, I kind of agree with what you're saying, but I wouldn't actually go as far as calling it selfish, because like, one of the four principles of medicine is autonomy, which means you have control of your own body. So I feel like if you want to make that decision, fair enough, but if anyone doesn't want to get the vaccine, the thing is I'd ask why. I feel like where, where is your reasoning on not getting a vaccine? Because we know obviously how many lives have been saved from it and how many infections have been prevented. Like you've said, it's been a hell of an 18 months and I've seen it firsthand. So it's like, okay, you don't want to get the vaccine, fair enough, but why? The same way if a patient's ill with a chest infection, they say, actually doctor, I don't want antibiotics. I say, fair? It's Wait, your people choice, say they don't but want, why? They, yeah. pe people yeah. actively say, I don't want to be, <clears throat> I don't want to take antibiotics or I don't want to get better. What people you? say they don't want to take medication. So it's a specific medication that they are opposed to? Yeah, sometimes. Right, and you okay. say, okay, listen, your chest infection is just going to get worse, you mm. could die. My issue is, I, I find it really, and it's going down a very dark road when we try and demonise people for those sorts of decisions. There are actually people that have genuine concerns over the vaccine. The fact that Which is we don't know the long-term effects because it Which hasn't even be, been around long enough. You have to make that case. Yeah. Also, I don't understand, I don't know when we all sat around the table and said, Kumbaya, um, we're all going to take the vaccine. Like, we're not but part we of should. a club. You know, everyone can make the decision. We all started dying. Like everyone was in agreement that we all wanted to get out of the pandemic and get out of lockdown. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't know I think anyone that, I But I think what happened was no one realised what the getting out of the pandemic meant. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, I, I, no, but even Like you just that, said, there are I people like who are opposed to medicine, right? In your line of work, you see people who are more prefer maybe a herbal um, treatment. Or exactly. Remedy. Some people and prefer so, natural medicine, some people prefer herbal medicine. Yeah. Mm. yeah it's up some to you. People right. die. However, but this is the thing, I think, when you put people in a position where Absolutely, a lot. Many lives were infringed upon, not just in terms of family, friends, um, actual livelihoods of work. Like you said at the beginning, Benjamin, mm -hmm. everybody, yes, wants absolutely wants to get on with their life. But if you give them one option of getting out of it, and it's one that they're not necessarily so comfortable on with. board with, but, I don't think it's fair to turn around and say, "But you said you wanted out of this, so go and get the vaccine." But, yeah. But are you on board with COVID? But the thing like, is, it goes further had, than that. We though. had, we didn't have many options. But even with COVID measures, not everyone was in agreement. I certainly didn't agree with, for lock, with locking down for as long as we did. I didn't agree with that, but I had to do it. I didn't have a choice. My freedoms were infringed upon and I didn't agree with it. And we've stuck at this. And now we're saying the only way you can live like a normal human being, we're giving you permission to do that, is by taking a vaccine. Let me interject quickly, because my question to you then is, do you feel like there should be different ways to explain things to different people? Because from Benjamin's perspective, and I don't want to speak for you, so correct me if I'm wrong, the vaccine is the vaccine is the vaccine. Yeah. If you get it, this is what happens when you get it. There is no way to sort of explain that to different people. It's yeah. the same thing that you're going to say to all the different people, right? Is that, do yeah, you agree no, with I, I agree with so you. So do you think that the vaccine should, you know, should, should the government or whoever try and explain that to different people in different ways? 
to them for them to get it or should they still be able to say at the end of it i understand what you're saying now but still no I think, I think the second point, and the reason for that is, I think the reason why you have to be careful how you message it to young people is because it's understandable why young people are the most reluctant to get it, because really, they were not the high risk groups in the first place. They're people that have had basically three years of, two years of virtual uni. They're young students that have had their grades messed up by this whole pandemic. Young people really have a lot of insecurity around their future, and they've been the ones that have had a lot of, um, suffered a lot of repercussions from this pandemic. To then tell them, after all of that, you cannot have a normal life or even a chance at a normal life because you don't want to inject a foreign substance in your body to vaccinate you against something that statistically speaking you're actually quite a low a very low risk of dying of anyway I think that does, just doesn't make sense you have to have a better way of saying that and saying someone is selfish for not getting it is not the way forward but there are it's different ways not. we've reached young people I've been on campaigns reaching young people I've spoken to young people I've gone out and talked to them on the street I've made videos for young people we've reached them via social media and a number of different ways Yes, I've done campaigns with the NHS where we've reached the public, the masses. Mm. <laughs> However, how we target young people is very different. Mm. We ask young people, bring in your questions and concerns, we will address them. I mean, the truth is, some people call them anti-vaccine. The reality is they're pro-plague. Because if you don't get the jab, <laughs> God, you, some, of those, some of those people will get sick. You say young people are healthy. Of course, the risk of getting seriously sick, thank God, is low. But everyone's healthy until they're not healthy. Well, I think and that's why they should do it. As and well. the other, the other thing, if I may just all, finish, yeah. Esther, is that we know, though there's questions about the extent to which it reduces the chance of passing COVID on, but we know it reduces the chances from lots of evidence. And so young people are the most likely to be going out to bars, you know, mixing with new yeah. people, nightclubs. And so it reduces the chances of you passing it on in those high risk engagements. But the thing is, and this comes down to autonomy as well, it's your choice. If you have done a yeah. risk assessment and you're like, actually, where I am in my life the risk of me it's probably better if I just take good care of myself my health and go on with my life instead of taking the vaccine that's a fair argument my, but my point my point but here is this, here, yeah. no, but here my, here's my point in the in the grand scheme of yeah. things this isn't the biggest health issue right one of the reasons why the UK was so affected by this virus is because we have an obesity problem in this country there are people that are overweight that drink too much that have too much sugar that don't actually take care of themselves generally <laughs> you're speaking. looking straight at me as no, you but, say I mean, it. but these, 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 these are comorbidities <laughs> that actually affect how ill you can get from this look at Sweden right the Swedish population on on average is actually quite quite healthy and mm -hmm. this actually affected how many people did get seriously ill from this virus so that in the grand scheme of things the issue isn't necessarily you know COVID it's about taking care of yourself because that plays a huge that, role it does no she's right it does play a huge role however I don't think we should be pointing fingers at those who haven't taken care of themselves and obviously no but we should because no, if you're no, no, if, no, no. I'm sorry I, I like if you're severely issue, overweight Wait, but again I want to make sure I can hear you sorry <clears throat> that's another on. issue to tackle what it, the, it doesn't change the fact that people, like you said, who are healthy still get this virus and still can get very seriously ill. I wouldn't go but as far as saying pro plague. But it's a very small plague. potential. I would say it's far as saying pro plague. I enjoy the pro plague thing, but I'm not sure. I feel pro plague. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't think, pro -plague. I don't think anyone really wishes plague on anyone else. No, I think, but, but, they but have people to take need to take responsibility for their actions. Let me just quickly say this because the original question was: Is getting the jab? The original oh. question was, is choosing not to get the jab, jab selfish? selfish? I don't think Esther, so. Esther, one of the things that you said just now was, if I sat at home and said, you know, I feel this way, this way, and this way, I think I'm going to be fine not getting the jab. Yeah. Isn't that what the definition of selfish is, though? If I choose to, to, to gain a lot of weight, drink, smoke, and make all these life choices, that's still selfish, because whether I like it or not, that has effects on wider society. But that then, has so effects not getting the jab is selfish? I, well, yes, but I don't think it's selfish. It's, not, it's no more selfish than choosing to eat beans as opposed to sausages. So is it selfish, yes or no? Have, have you're I, saying there's no more selfish. It's not getting the jab selfish. Yeah, so if you're saying... And I just want to point out, at this stage... Yeah. It's okay to change your opinion. Yeah. Because I still you, think that you've been able, I think you've articulated what you're saying mm. properly. But I think if someone sits at home and says, actually, I could not get this job because I think I'm going to be all right. Yeah. Is that a Forget decision? the rest of the world and the fact that everyone wants to go outside. But and that's a risk. That's, that's a, kind that's, of selfish. That's, that's a risk is it assessment. A selfish decision. Yes or no? I, my darling, is it selfish or is it a risk yeah, right, assessment? Right, right. Selfish in relation to whom? In to, is it society? selfish? Yeah, so, okay, so, cool. It's selfish. Right. Yes. Okay. But it's well, I'm everything glad, I'm, is selfish. I'm glad we found <laughs> Question every two. single thing in the world is selfish. Actually. Yeah, literally. It, it, yeah, you can describe anything as selfish, but, but I think what's the relative risk for everybody else? Yeah, so your obesity. So if you're, you're if, if you're obese and you have comorbidities and you're not taking care of yourself, you're going to be the one primar primarily affected. Yes, it may put a strain on the NHS. Fair it may enough. that's the like the wait, overwhelming wait, majority. It may put a strain on the NHS. Correct, but nobody else is going to die from your obesity. 
If you contract COVID, you may get well, you spread it to somebody with those comorbidities and they but don't make it. But then it's up to that person. Then, then your selfish act has had very serious consequences for somebody else who won't be able to survive it. But then you that getting obese is not going to have that consequence on somebody else. So you have to think, but this is what you're I selfish there you. and you're selfish with what you do to your body. Yeah. What's it going to do for other people who are very vulnerable? I feel like you have maybe like a slight distrust for humans. I, feel I like do. <laughs> a, part oh, please. Feels, a part of you feels like human beings don't do what they should do. Mm. How do you feel about friends, even someone that you're dating, let's mm -hmm. say, not being vaccinated? Do you feel like you could trust someone to actually be able to tell you or do what they say they've done? Would you trust someone to go and get vaccinated and keep you safe? I literally don't care. You wouldn't care if the person you was dating is vaccinated? Nope. Yeah. I just, I don't find it weird Wait, that people sorry. put their stains on the dating. What was that, shoulder shrug? <laughs> 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 you, know, you wouldn't care? I had that, oh. I rebuke you. I be, I, no, no, <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Because this is my perspective. At the moment, Esther, I feel like you're not, you're not trusting people to do what makes sense for everyone. So when it comes to dating and spending time with someone and going out, yeah. you also have no... I do not, you don't care. No, this is the thing. I, I trust people to make the best decisions okay. for themselves. So, okay, here's another question because I've seen this come up. On dating apps, yeah. you know someone's like, oh, I'm 6'2", yeah, I like walks on the boy. beach, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Would you would you like to would I you, like walks. Would you want information about things like that? Would you want no, to know? No, I don't care. You don't care. You know the kind of questions I want to ask people on a dating app. It has nothing to do with your vaccination. I want to know if you wash yourself after you use the loo. <laughs> I, can't I do want this. to know if you wash yourself. Why? Properly. Why because does that I would matter rather go out doesn't. with someone who is clean than unvaccinated. Sorry. So just to be clear, I want to, tra <laughs> I want to translate this for anyone who's kind of missing the point. So you don't mind if someone is spreading a virus, you just want to know if their posterior is clean? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to now throw this question to you two. Well, hang <laughs> no, on. No, I'm just going to... Ah, no, no. Just let that... Just let that... No, 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 Julie, I need to wrap my head around that one. I need to wrap my head around that one. Because at the moment, we are... Young people are going out. I don't want to even just say young people. People are going out, yeah. right? We are in a world where we want to meet people we've been stuck inside for 18 months. How do you two feel about dating someone, going out, meeting new people. Wild. Do you want to know if they're vaccinated? Do you, yeah. Is that a concern for you? I do, because for me, you know, maybe this is a controversial thing to say, but it's not just the fact that they've taken the safe route by getting the vaccine for themselves and for me, if I was going to be close to them. I think it reveals something about their personality, yeah. about their values. Mm -hmm. You know, I would worry that someone that had turned down the vaccine because they didn't care, or maybe they bought into some kind of dodgy theory, that they don't really care about other people, that they are selfish. I don't know, man. If you're walking around with a dirty bum and no, that doesn't but... bother you, <laughs> But like, I'm more but concerned when you've had the nah, job. But like, I'm sorry. Okay, no, but can, you're, I just, you're, can I just say? You're a crusty can, booty, you're not going <laughs> to kill anybody. Here's the thing, I don't, make, and I'm, I'm very much, I generally do not care whether someone's vaccinated or unvaccinated. But you I will ask them why they're not vaccinated. I just want to know why, or why you are vaccinated. Okay. Because it's an individual choice. However, <laughs> if you are leaving your house and you have... Done a number the two. The na nature has called you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Furiously. And you have a wife. <laughs> First of all, I don't know who you're dating because I don't know anyone <laughs> they who goes to the you toilet and doesn't wipe. Yo, there's going to be a new people, dating app now and no, that's going to be question like, number one. I feel like that's no, a new problem. No, but the thing problem. is, every time, boys, there's, every time there's a scare, there's every time there's a scare. I don't know anyone who goes to the toilet and doesn't wipe. But bidets are not common in this country. Every time there's a scare, toilet roll is vanished. And I'm like, do you people not have showers? Would you? Why are you taking all the toilet roll? baby wipes. At least get Anyway, we're not even going to get there, right? Let me ask this question then. Do you think it's important that we do have procedures in place where people have to prove their negative status when they're going into public spaces, concerts, I think concerts, so. I think there's certain shows, places. No. I, it's already, so it's already in How do in we fact, do like, life? I've, I've, had to, I've had to take um, lateral flow tests literally at the door. How do we do life when you need permission to prove a certain medical status to, to just but go Esther, about your business? We can't do life if we have long right. Right. Exactly. How, how long are we going to be living with this, for goodness sake? You said, how long are we going to be living with this virus? It's not going but anywhere. But you don't want to check if the people you're dating are I vaccinated. Do not care. You don't want people to um, go and get vaccinated if they can't be bothered or if they think it doesn't make sense. You're not practicing anything that is going to get us to a place where we can do life. COVID is not going anywhere. Why is it not going anywhere? The fact is, we and in the beginning it was two weeks to slow the curve. Does anyone remember this? Because we're eighteen months down. That's not more than two weeks. Yeah, but that's not the government's um, no, fault. But, no, that's but, the virus. I'm, and I'm not. I'm not putting blame on anyone. But I'm saying 
we have not moved from point A to B to now say, actually, this is going to be a permanent thing. When you go to the supermarket, you have to show your vaccination. Like, come on. But you understand there that was but you don't have COVID. to do that. That's, it's just if you're going to have hanky panky with someone, I want to know whether they're taking people care don't even of themselves. Ask if people have Very good point. No, no. Do, you, do you ask someone, like, do you Esther, have herpes? Esther. No, you, yes, you I do. Yes. Like, if no. Guys, 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 guys. I mean, I do because I'm a child of Let me, guys, let me, let me say this. Because we're skipping over fantastic things. You just said hanky panky in 2021. I love it. You don't ask people if they have any form of. Of STI. And I get you checked first before you even breathe on me. You don't? Okay, you do get them yeah, checked. Yeah, no, 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 but I'm different. But you don't care if they leave <laughs> on you with COVID? So no, you, no, I don't care. Okay. Hey! I, by the way, I'm vaccinated. Right, I guys, don't care. Let's, like, let's... What? <laughs> I got vaccinated because I don't want to have to think of this ever again. Wait, so you have you've been vaccinated? Yeah, but I did an individual assessment and I was I am asthmatic, by the way. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I have a medical condition. What that... I take from you is that is that you want people to make their own decisions. Thank you. That's Which what is, I take from yeah. you. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I just think that there's a line that we have to accept that when yeah. it's something that affects the entire world, then we need to start some you, kind of unity, some the kind of freedom to There needs to be something where we come house. together. If, like, okay, well, COVID, yeah, passports, people don't know COVID passports <laughs> didn't come out. However, if they said, you know what, you need either a negative test or double vaccination to get in so-and-so place, mm. if you don't want to take your vaccine fair, if you don't want to do negative tests, fair. Stay in but your house. We're segregating you people right based on medical status. That's so uncomfortable for me. What? You're segregating people. No, but you're everybody? actually segregating people because you're almost pariahing them because they don't want. And this they is did my it thing. To and this is, uh, you know what? Funnily enough, fundamentally, I don't, I don't, I completely understand your concerns. I'm not saying you're wrong or it's coming from a negative place. But I'm saying, and this goes back to one, the messaging, because I think language like, oh, young people are selfish for not doing that doesn't help at all. I don't think, and I don't think anyone should be demonized for even, like, look at social media but look they, how people are demonized for even guys, questioning the vaccine i'm gonna have to i'm gonna Nicki have to Minaj. stop it there uh, honestly I, know, I would love to continue this conversation you are absolutely hilarious by <laughs> you're fantastic um but honestly seriously thank you esther and mecca and of course benjamin thank you for helping me take living with covid off the table Cheers, thank you